Hi, I'm Linda Judice, Professor of Obstetrics, Gynecology, and Reproductive Sciences at the University of California, San Francisco, UCSF. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist and founder of the UCSF Program on Reproductive Health and the Environment. I see mainly patients with infertility and women with endometriosis. You may wonder how I got involved in environmental health. It all began in 2002 when a patient asked if her infertility could be due to her having grown up on Love Canal in New York State. Together, we investigated endocrine-disrupting chemicals, air pollution, and other toxicants and their effects on human health, fertility, and development. We learned that many environmental toxicants, BPA, pesticides, lead, phthalates, are ubiquitous and are found in food wrapping and cans, personal care products, agricultural areas, and in our cities and towns, in our air, our food, and water. We learned that they act like estrogens or anti-androgens or can interrupt normal cellular processes. It's no wonder that they have adverse effects on in utero development, in childhood, and at other critical times of life, disrupting health and causing disease, including infertility. Endometriosis is a condition where the lining of the uterus is found in abnormal locations, especially on the ovary and on the lining of the pelvis. When it exists there, it causes inflammation and is toxic to sperm and eggs and embryos. Also, the lining of the uterus in women with endometriosis is abnormal in that it does not permit efficient implantation of embryos. We learned that when a female fetus is exposed to an estrogen-like compound, like DES, she has nearly a twofold risk of developing endometriosis as an adult, and that adult exposures in women to PCBs and organochlorine phosphates are associated with endometriosis. Also, when non-human primates, our closest relatives, are exposed to dioxin, they develop endometriosis in a dose-dependent fashion. And in a mouse model of endometriosis, exposure to dioxin makes the disease worse. Surprisingly, most healthcare providers, policymakers, and the general public are unaware of these issues and the science behind them. Well, something had to be done. So I recruited Dr. Tracy Woodruff to direct our program for reproductive health and the environment at UCSF. Over the years, she and her team have established methodology to critically evaluate the science behind effects of environmental toxicants on human health. PRE has developed brochures based on solid scientific evidence that can be downloaded free from our website. These address toxic matters, food matters, work matters, and pesticides matter in English and Spanish for patients and consumers worldwide. Environmental effects on human health are a global problem. I have been working with PRE and colleagues in our national and international professional organizations to get this on the national and global agendas. At the global level, through FIGO, the International Federation of Gynecologists and Obstetricians, I chair the FIGO Working Group on Reproductive and Developmental Environmental Health. This working group is addressing education, research, and health policies consistent with the World Health Organization Sustainable Development Goals to make this a better world now and for future generations. As president-elect of the International Federation of Fertility Societies, my goal is to engage all stakeholders in environmental health and fertility. The future of our planet depends on minimizing risks and maximizing health and well-being, goals that are just too important to ignore. Thank you.